Now, for you gardeners who weed, everybody, everybody, everybody come on here, I want to show you something cool. I have a few weeds here. Mm -hmm. Right what you're saying. Mm -hmm. now, now, I want you to watch watch how we weed in the garden here. Watch this. <laughs> hey. Is that cool? That's cool. <laughs> Is that cool? That's cool. I mean, come on. I've, I've, I, I was on my knees weeding my whole life as a kid, and it wasn't like that. I'm just, these are, these are the kind of things that just blow, look at that. Just take your, look at it. All, they're gone. History. All with the rake and you don't have to bend over. Beautiful. I'm just telling you, man, it's just the benefits just don't it's end. It's supposed to be hard though, Paul. Huh? It's supposed to be hard. No, it's not. <laughs> he says, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. The hard came with the fall, the separation. Remember he told Adam, by the sweat of your brow, you're going because you're disconnected. Right. It wasn't that way in the garden. That was a disconnect. It was not by design. It was not by design. And I'm going to show you over here in a minute why man began to pull the soil because it makes no sense. When, you, when I saw how simple this was, I'll just tell you, you know, you see those wood chips out there? Yeah. You saw that stuff growing in it? Especially you men. If I were to tell you on the street, come over here. You see these wood chips over here? You can have a great garden here. You'd think I was nuts. If I told you you could plant a great garden and that kind of stuff, I'd have wood chips. You says you're crazy. You gotta have dirt. You gotta have dirt to grow stuff in. Here's why man began tilling the ground. Because when, when Adam was in the garden, he saw how God did it. He he understood how to do it right. Why, when he got put out of the garden, did he start ripping the cover off, exposing dirt? I, I'm asking God. You know, told me it was huge. When God created Adam and Eve, He created them like Himself. He says, let us create man in our own image after our own likeness. God is a spirit. You hearing me? God created Adam and Eve as spirit beings. And as spirit beings, they related everything from the spirit realm. And that's why they weren't naked. Because the body was the clothing for the spirit. And they weren't naked. They were totally clothed. The body clothed the spirit. When they sinned, I love the wording in the scripture, it says their eyes were opened. It didn't mean they were blind. They made a shift of consciousness from the spirit realm to the natural mind. And from the natural mind, they realized, well, we're not covered. We're naked. We're exposed. So they got fig leaves to cover themselves. When man looks at the, at the covering in nature, from the natural mind, he says, well, you can't grow stuff in this. You've got to have dirt. And because he can't believe in faith in the spirit for what he can't see, he takes the covering off so he can see the dirt. He has to see it. I'm telling you, it's huge. It's huge. He has to see the dirt. So he takes the covering off and tills it so he can see the dirt because he can't believe for what he can't see. I tell you, you can grow a garden. No, no way, you gotta have dirt because you can't believe for what you can't see. It's huge. It's like, wow. Do you have a rule of thumb uh, as to how far you plant your rows apart? I used to plant them three feet apart, but you can see them having problems here. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what's so cool about God? I mean, you, you see my cilantro. This is September. We had this a really warm summer this year, yeah. and cilantro would bolt like crazy. But the the um, shade the shade from the um, uh, zucchini has been shading my my um, cilantro, so it's not molding so quick. Mm. So I've started, and this was accidental from the natural. I didn't I didn't plan on this, but God's just saying, you see this? You should do this kind of stuff. This works. So if you're just paying attention, you're going to see Him reveal and show you things in the garden that just blow you away. Like, what a great idea! That, that's awesome. That, you know, and if again, you're just this, this is why He put us in the garden up front to have a relationship. And we should have never left. He's always there. He always shows up in the garden. And he always is showing cool things. If you just pay attention, just get it. You know, just... What about raised mounds? Raised mounds are a challenge because they dry out very quick. Okay. Anything above grade, you know, boxes, you know, ra 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 boxes are going to water like crazy because they expose in the air. And you see, people do mounds and boxes because the ground's miserable beyond. If you notice, this is not miserable, it's very comfortable. When you get on your knees, you don't get muddy. Your feet are never muddy. It's never hard. So it's not an undesirable surface to work on. Or in a, in, in a dirt so soil, it's miserable. So you do raised beds to get off the dirt. Well, this is not, not necessary. Guys doesn't do raised beds. He just grows things flat on the ground just fine.
Was this originally like the wood chips, and then you just no? Put I'm the glad chicken, you chicken hunt? yeah, I yeah, okay. I did as, as okay. I no, don't you dig? No, okay. you can't dig. I understand it's soft and it's pleasant, but it's, you can't dig. <laughs> I don't blame you, but you just no, no digging in the garden. Get out, Pierza, get out. <laughs>